Ladies and gentlemen, salamun alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You know, I pray to God that you guys are having a good night. Uh, I know uh, time shifted and time uh, difference in Karbala and other countries as well. Uh, so we had to shift it back an hour. Uh, we do apologize for those who were tuning in. But everyone stays the same. The timing still stays. I just had to, you know, throw that out. Welcome to episode 13 of hashtag LNT, the late night talk with me, your favorite host, Ahmed Ali. Now tonight uh, is, is a very nice topic. You know, we're trying to sh shift it up a little bit. Um, trying to give you guys another, a different vibe. Uh, tonight we'll actually get to help you a lot because for the people living in the West, you need tonight's episode. So I advise you stay, you stay tuned in. Yeah. Welcome back dear viewers. Hope inshallah um, are all doing well. And as I mentioned, uh, you know, uh, tonight's episode is going to uh, affect you in a lot of ways. And if you're lost, you're going to find a guide. But before we tell you what tonight's episode is, let's check out what's trending. Now, for the people who, uh, who have Facebook, and you know, a lot of people do have Facebook around the world. Uh, now, uh, Facebook has been through a huge mess uh, with the, the, the data breaches that have affected around 15 million users. Now, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, he uh, apologized uh, to his, his Facebook uh, users. Uh, and, uh, you know, the apology didn't do anything, though, because uh, honestly, uh, Facebook went down $58 billion. The value of Facebook, $58 billion. I mean, you know, sometimes when you go, uh, you know, when you get fined, you might get fined four hundred dollars. This guy got, you know, went down. The value of Facebook went down fifty-eight million dollars. Uh, but you know, these guys make it in the next day, so it doesn't really matter for us. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. So two thumbs down, Mark. I know you're watching the show. I made sure you do that. Uh, you know, but uh, I used to love you. I still do. You know, I still do. You gave us uh, a great way to communicate. But I mean, come on, man. Do we need to do this? Anyways. What else is trending? A huge fire ripped through um, a shopping and entertainment mall uh, in Siberia, killing at least 64 people. Uh, the witnesses says, uh, the witnesses, uh, they say, or Russian investigators, um, they say that there was no fire, there, there were no fire alarms, and the escape gates and escape and, and exits were blocked. Uh, tens of people are also uh, listed as missing. Hopefully, inshallah, we can you know, um, people can find their relatives or whoever whoever's missing can be found ASAP. But let's jump into tonight's episode. Or there's a video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go check out the video. So the fire is quite bad. I mean, oh my goodness, as you can see right there. Um, but you know, flames and flames everywhere. You know, we do feel sorry. I, sh I shouldn't be laughing, uh, but we do feel sorry for those who uh, lost their lives and our hearts with the families uh, of uh, the uh, victims. Hopefully, inshallah, uh, they can be, you know, granted uh, with the best rewards. Uh, Definitely, inshallah. But let's go into a very quick break and come back and talk about tonight's episode because honestly, who doesn't want to be guided? Everyone, or at least some people, most people, have a vision or goal in life. Now there are multiple paths that may lead to this goal, but the destination is one. And funny thing, still people uh, still manage to go astray. Now you know, as as the saying all goes, uh, the famous saying, "All the roads lead to Rome." We start from there. However, there is one correct straight path that guarantee that guarantees you the reach uh, to your goal. Uh, you know, nowadays, alhamdulillah, we have a lot of ways. We'll get to talk about that later on. Uh, but thankfully, we have guides uh, that ensure us and guarantees us uh, the arrival at our destination and tell us where to go, a.k.a. GPS. But we'll get to talk about it more. 
let's say you're lost in, 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 a, in a remote village, uh, you know, I don't know why you're, doing, you're in a remote village, but you know, maybe you're going hiking, maybe you're going on an adventure, but anyways, you're lost in a remote village, uh, and uh, you don't know where to go. So the best solution, the best thing to do is what? The best thing to do is to find a villager and ask him for directions, because honestly, if you're in a remote village, there's not a lot of people there. So everyone knows where to go and, and, and all the shortcuts and stuff. So you ask a villager because he probably knows the village on like the back of his hand. But when you find that villager and you ask him, you ask him for destinations. If you don't find that villager, a map. If you don't have a map, look for someone that, that, that does have a map. And if you don't find that, then good luck. I don't know where, you get, where, you're, gonna, where you're gonna end up. But this tells us that the goal in life is to have a guide. That's one and a map, of course, that's two. And we also need something to show us where to go and to ensure us that the destination we're going to is 100% reachable. And for example, if we want to, be, to, 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 to bring an example about this, you know, a lot of people have a goal in mind. Their goal, say for example, one's goal is medicine school. One's goal is to become a doctor. They have to go a couple of, through, couple of stages. Yani for example, they have to go through elementary, they have to go through high school, middle school, middle school, high school, university, and then med school. And someone wants to be rich, one word, hustle. You need to hustle your way through and work hard. Work hard, play hard, and you become rich. A lot of people have other goals as well. And for a lot of people, they have this vision. Everyone differs in their goal and their vision. People think that their main goal is success, their main goal is wealth, their main goal is having a beautiful wife, uh, their main goal is having wealth and a beautiful wife. Uh, a lot of people do focus on the materialistic thing when you talk about goals. They tend to look at, um, and, and for me, you know, I'm, I, I'm not saying I'm not a materialistic guy. Uh, for me, I, I, I love, uh, you know, to, to buy stuff and, and, and think about stuff, but at the same time, you need to think about other things as well. Um, you know, but the first thing when you ask someone, what's your goal? The goal in life, for me, or other people when they want to answer, as a spontaneous answer, would be to have a nice job, have a nice house, have a nice car, you know, that, those good stuff. But this guide, or the guides that will lead us to where we haven't mentioned the goal yet, those guides or the guide are the apostles or saints of God sent down on earth with a map. You know, and, and, and funny thing is, a lot of people tend to look for that map. Well, I don't know if they found it or not. I don't know, I'm kidding. But that map is a divine book. Now, before Islam, there was the uh, Bible, and then before that, there was the Torah. But those divine books are the maps that lead you to where that leads you to perfection and that leads you to the right path this is the only way to reach that destination now this brings us to tonight's question how do you guide I thought the scammer was on me yeah three two one three two one how do you guide others to the right path how do you do that I'm trying to find out because honestly I for me I have like three ways uh, to 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 that you know may, may lead us to, to, to the right path but do call now because the lines are open um, the lines are open plus 964 774 067 13 1836 sorry 1836 the lines are now open you can share your opinion with us by dialing that number via whatsapp everyone has data everyone has wi-fi everyone has, has internet there's no excuse for you to not share your opinion on the hashtag lnt the late night talk. So you can also jo join our live Facebook at Imam Hussein 3 TV or at LNT.show. Uh, we are live on Facebook. Do comment there and let us know what you think about tonight's question. How do you guide others to the right path? Now, we'll take a very, very short break and we'll be back very shortly with your man. Welcome back, dear viewers. Hope you, inshallah, uh, enjoyed that, you know, 
that 10 second break that we had right there but just to recap and to let you guys know what we're talking about today if you just tuned in welcome to hashtag guarantee if you're still watching also welcome to hashtag guarantee but tonight's question how do you guide others to the right path now you guys get to decide which path that we're talking about today because we're gonna conclude which path it is at the end of the episode but which path are you willing to talk about or are you willing to share your opinion about a lot of people say the path of success the path of you know occupation the path of wealth the path of women some people say uh, the path of uh, cars whatever uh, you know uh, whatever path that you think um, so uh, whatever path that you think is suitable for you to uh, do uh, join us but you know another cup of water from heaven you know see the cameraman the crew team you know I, the, the guy felt bad uh, you know so he's like uh, during the break I want water so he's like uh, how do I how do I leave Ahmed Ali with no water you know uh, that just shows you know because because it's, it's it's a two-way thing you know uh, it's it's mutual I take care of them they take care of me uh, yeah but but yes yeah let me just you know I'll, I'll drink a bit more we'll go to a short break come back go ahead A lot of people, when we're talking about guiding others and talking about the right path, uh, a lot of people do mention the idea that it's the responsibility of every single individual to guide others to the right path. For example, if, if anyone, if, for, yeah, if, if you're sitting in class in, 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 in university, if you're sitting in university uh, and, and there's someone that, you know, in your class that's not on the right pace as the study, um, you, it's, it's, it's your responsibility. Wh whether, whether you think it is or you don't, it's your responsibility to tell that individual, you know what, um, as a classmate, the responsibility as a classmate, um, to tell that person, you know what, you're not doing this properly, you should do it this way, uh, you know, always learn and always grow. So that responsibility is, uh, is, is, is a burden on the shoulders of everyone uh, that, uh, and, and, and uh, on, on humanity, but I don't know why they're laughing. Now, depending on what faith uh, or what religion you're from, a lot of people, if, if a Christian, he's going to call you towards Christianity. If he's Hindu, he's going to call you towards Hinduism. Um, if they're, you know, Jews, uh, Jewish, he's going to uh, try to talk to you about Judaism. But uh, we'll continue that right after uh, we read this message that we just received right now. Uh, from uh, who, who do you have a message from? Yeah, so we have a message from Muhammad. Uh, now, Muhammad from the USA, he's think, he says, I think, yeah, yeah, so Muhammad from the USA, he says, I think that it's best to study Hawza uh, in the holy city of Najaf or Qom and then spread the message of Ahlul Bayt to the world. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Brother Muhammad, uh, from the USA. Um, you know, yes, if, if, if you feel like that's, uh, that's the way to go, go ahead, bro. No one's stopping you. Go ahead and then start spreading the message of Islam. Why not? If you're trying to spread the message of Islam, we have over a hundred billion, oh, not a hundred, well, we have over a billion Muslims on this planet. And uh, it's the responsibility of every single Muslim uh, not to only, you know, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, he says this, uh, we, we, we do want to talk about a bit religious. T today, uh, we thought, you know what, why don't we just, you know, shift gears a little bit, talk about religion. But, it's the responsibility of every single individual. Because Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, he says, you know, guide others through your actions. And that's what we need to do, is to guide others through their actions. But, is that the right way, or is that the path? that you're trying to guide people to. We're trying to find out later on in tonight's episode, inshallah. Now, the holy book uh, in, in the first chapter, the holy book of Islam, uh, the first chapter, I hope you guys know what the first chapter is. It's not Baqarah. Uh, it's Al-Fatiha, like the beginning. Al-Fatiha, the beginning. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in, in, in verse 6 or 7, He says, 
guide us to the straight path, the path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor upon, not of those who you have invoked your anger or of those who are astray. I sound like a, a, a scholar right now. You know, I should, I should put out my Rasala Amaliyah, you know, my, my religious Hausa PhD, if you will, uh, and, and become a scholar right away. But um, the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam, as, as, a, as a guide, but we do have a, a call before we talk about uh, Prophet Muhammad's uh, we have Muhammad Musa from the USA. Assalamu alaikum, brother Muhammad. Welcome to hashtag LNT. And tonight's question is, how do you guide others to the right path? Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Habib. I believe that, number one, in order to bring people to the right path, I think we have to be on the right path. If we want That's to guide people to salvation and everything, I mean, we shouldn't be hypocrites and do the things that our faith denies or doesn't approve of. Yes. I want to guide my fellow brother or sister that doesn't understand the reality of the being of Islam, that I truly believe that we have to uphold and practice what we preach. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's actually very true. Now, um, if, if a lot of people do uh, wonder about the path. Now, in your, in, in your opinion, what is the right path? Number one, I think the right path is to be found. If I could easily give you the frank answer, like, Islam's the right path. Mm -hmm. That's right, but at the end of the day, Islam is the faith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought down to mankind through his holy prophet. Yeah. And there are certain levels within Islam a person can reach. Yes. You look at the Quran, how it describes the certain types of selves. Yeah. yeah. And if I were to give you, just to say that Islam is the right path, I mean, I have to figure out who I am to live to say something like that. Yeah. Yes, I truly believe that Islam is the right way, it's the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at the end of the day, I mean, Allah requires us more than to just uh, sell ourselves as slaves yes. to uh, one way of thinking. Mm -hmm. We have to take into consideration our brothers and sisters uh, from other faiths yes. with Islam, with the power of our faith. The Quran, that's how we're able to guide people to the right path. Mm -hmm. Raise our levels to that nafs and mutma'inna, that certain soul, that certain self, and ultimately guide people to faith with our actions. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you very much, Brother Muhammad al Musa from the United States, uh, for joining us tonight. And uh, yes, very valid points uh, for uh, you know for tonight's episode. Thank you very much once again. Uh, now, uh, going back to uh, the points, I want to talk about the points that Brother Muhammad mentioned, uh, and and we do remind viewers of the question before we talk about the points. The question is, how do you guide others to the right path? How do you, yeah, you, how do you guide others to the right path? You know, how do you guide your friends? How do you guide your family? How do you guide your boyfriend and girlfriend? Astaghfirullah, maybe you don't have, but you know, just in case you fall in that deep road. How do you guide them? You know, you know your co-workers at home, uh, and co-workers at home, your, your co-workers at work, your classmates, um, you know. Uh, sometimes you have to even guide your parents. And if you're a parent, you have to guide your children. So call in, pick up the phone, call in, dial the number, uh, that's plus nine six four seven seven four zero six seven eighteen thirty six. I have that number memorized in the back of my head because you know I'm the one and only baby. I'm the one and only. You know I have to. It's hashtag LNT. The late night talk. Is the logo this way or this way? It's this way, right? Yeah, yeah. It's this way. This logo right there is the guide. That's what we're trying to conclude with. This is the guide. But we'll take a short break and we're back very short. Don't go away. Welcome back, my sisters and bros. Uh, hope y'all are doing well. Once again, I do welcome you to hashtag LNT. Um, but before uh, we took that 10 second break, uh, we were talking about the question and, and, and the ways uh, you can contact us. We are live on Facebook, so do share your opinion on there. You can send us an audio message. Uh, you can send us a, a, a text message at the WhatsApp number shown below, or you can call that same number via WhatsApp as well and share your opinions. Share your opinion with us today. Now, 
uh, we do uh, I just received another message uh, uh, now uh, we got Jessica from Sweden uh, now Jessica from Sweden uh, she says uh, as a faithful Christian, I depend on the Holy Bible in spreading Jesus' message uh, of peace and love to all. I hope that everyone finds the truth, uh, the, the truth through the Messiah. God bless. Thank you very much, Jessica uh, from Sweden, for, for joining us tonight. Uh, and yes, as I mentioned earlier, um, whatever path, uh, faith, path, whatever faith or religion you're following, you're always trying to guide people to that to, to, to that uh, faith. Uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us, Jessica, uh, for tonight. And we always should have a guide, whether he guides Jesus, whether he guides Moses, whether he guides is, is, is the, the, the Messiah, whether your guide is uh, Ahmed Ali, you know, hashtag NMT. You need, to, you need to search for that guide to take you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what better guide than hashtag LNT? You know what I mean? But we'll go back to the narration of Prophet Muhammad where he tells, where he tells Imam Ali. Uh, they're, they're giving us a few funny comments in my ear. Uh, thank God these comments are not on air. Uh, but, but, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his farewell when Imam Ali was leaving from Medina to Yemen, he says, Oh Ali, if Allah guides only one person through you, it will be better, it will be better for you than all that the sun has risen or set, set over. What is the Prophet trying to say? The Prophet is trying to say, that, O oh Ali, O oh Imam Ali, if, you, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides one individual through you, yani through your actions, through your words, yani means through, uh, through your actions, through your words, uh, through your manners, through the way you talk to others, uh, that, also, that all says it, uh, and that all guides people, or well, what am I saying? That all plays a very, uh, a very crucial role. What the, what, what's wrong with me today? Wow, okay. But, yeah, let me, let me just catch my breath and drink some water. Let's go check out uh, the, the, the new segment that we have for you guys. Ask an expert. Uh, who, no, uh, no breaks, we were going straight to the video. Sheikh Abbas Panju, uh, my teacher and very, very good friend uh, to Sheikh Abbas. Yes. So what does Sheikh Abbas say? The art of being a source of guidance and guiding people towards the right path. In essence, this in itself is a science. And the etiquettes of guiding people towards the right path, the uh, etiquettes and the conditions, the protocols that are required in guiding people towards the right path are outlined across a number of verses within the Holy Quran, of which we shall examine four for today. The first verse of the Quran, Holy Quran, which I would like to refer back to, is from Surah Al-Saf, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, within the second verse of the of this uh, blessed chapter, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu lima taquluna ma la taf'alun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says within the Quran O oh you who believe khitab khas This is a command that is directed particularly towards those who have iman Those who have belief Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu Lima taquluna ma la taf'alun why do you speak? Why do you preach? Why do you call people to wedge those actions? Those actions which you yourselves do not even perform. So we understand from this verse that the first criteria of inviting people to wedge guidance is that we need in essence to practice what we preach. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu lima taquluna ma la taf'alun Why do you speak about those things that you yourselves do not do? Therefore, if I want to guide a person towards uh, recitation of Salat, I myself must also be observing Salat. If I want to guide somebody towards not performing ghiba, then I myself must refrain from ghiba before I invite others towards the same. Thirdly, if I myself am inviting people towards peaceful 
uh, Islam, non-violent Islam, then it also means that me, myself, as a practicing person, I must be non-violent and peaceful in nature myself. Therefore, you find, Ahibai, that the first criteria of guidance, yani being a source of guidance, inviting people towards the truth or inviting people towards goodness, number one is to practice what you preach. When you truly practice what you preach and you truly believe in what you say and you adhere by those principles that you wish to teach, you find that your kalam, that your words emanate from the bottom of your heart and they go and they penetrate the bottom of the heart of the listener, the one listening to you, shall also have an impact because the words that come out from your mouth, the art of... Thank you, thank you, uh, Sheikhna, for uh, that uh, words of wisdom uh, and for joining us tonight. Uh, and that's that was the expert for tonight. And what a better expert than uh, Sheikh Abbas Punj to talk about tonight's episode and how to guide others. Now, uh, he mentioned very valid points uh, in that message right there. And he says, guiding others first starts from us. Uh, we have to practice and believe in what we preach and that and those words the kalam that uh, what he mentioned uh, those words will penetrate through the hearts of the listener so hopefully my words can penetrate through the hearts uh, you know through your hearts uh, and uh, reach uh, the destination if you know what I mean but um, we do have another message uh, we we do have a, another uh, message from Okay, so we do have another message uh, from Jordi, okay, uh, Jordi Alba, Jordi what, uh, but Jordi, uh, Jordi Ek, uh, okay, I'm with Ek, okay, uh, in order to guide someone uh, to the right path, one must be on the right path himself. Uh, yes, thank you very much, uh, Jordi, for uh, sending us the uh, message, <laughs> we'll go to a very short break, and we'll be back very shortly. <laughs> welcome back to the viewers, uh, and uh, we do welcome the, the viewers who are just tuning in right now. Uh, uh, we were talking about, uh, and we were reading a few messages, uh, we do remind viewers to call, send in your questions, send, question, send in your opinions uh, via WhatsApp, either you can call, you can send us a, a written message, or an audio message on the same number, plus 964-774-067-1836. We just have received an audio message from Isra from Canada. What does Isra say? Assalamu uh, alaikum. Definitely a very, very interesting topic. It actually makes us reflect on our own uh, behavior, our own way of life, and how we actually uh, lead our day-to-day uh, -day activities. Um, it, the, the, I think the best way to guide others is to first think of how to guide yourself uh, from uh, starting with how uh, you view yourself, how you view your actions, uh, your uh, manners and behaviors around others because uh, at the end of the day the best way to lead others is to lead yourself to the right path. Make sure that you're setting a good example, make sure that uh, you're following in the uh, right footsteps of the people, the great people before us. like. For example, the Ahl Bayt alayhi wa salam, and those great exemplary, exemplary leaders like Imam Ali alayhi salam, where he was able to show his um, great attitude, uh, uh, remarkable uh, stands in history with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa So there's a lot of um, examples that we can take from in history during our lifetime as well. Um, but uh, I, you know, I think the best way is to be a, uh, start with the self, be a good model of yourself and, and then move up from there because before we think of guiding anybody we need to guide ourselves first so uh, that's what I think but definitely a great topic and I do wish the program the best of success thank you so much and uh, all the best to all those who want to work on themselves and improve themselves and you know um, continue being positive role models in, in this world 
وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. Thank you, thank you very much for Isra. Thank you very much, Isra, for joining us tonight. And yes, as you mentioned, first guide yourself, then you can guide others. And honestly, this is one of the best ideas that we can actually give. If a person smokes, you can't tell another person that smokes, so stop smoking. Why don't you stop first? No, I'll stop. If, if, if uh, you know, God forbid, someone drinks, uh, you know, you can't just tell someone, you know, don't drink when, you, when you're drinking. Uh, same thing, a lot of examples that fall into that category. So at the beginning, we have to guide ourselves, then we can guide others. Uh, Muhammad Ali uh, Mauji on, on Facebook, uh, he says, guide yourself first. Yes, uh, first guide yourself. Okay, perfect. Uh, if, if um, yeah, you can first guide yourself, and that's that's one. Uh, are, are you talking about me, or who are you talking? I got, should I guide myself? Well, of course, I mean I do guide myself, but uh, you know, thank you very much. Uh, but we we are getting uh, a few messages. I, I you know, no offense to uh, the people commenting on the Facebook page. This is not welcome to Karbala. Uh, when I go through the comments, a lot of people think that. You know, we're having a, a, a live ziyarah. Assalamu alaikum wa Abdullah. Yes, that's great. You can convey your salams, but my show is different uh, from uh, my my very very good friend, uh, the brother of mine, Muhammad Ali, who has welcome to Karbala. It's not the same show. Welcome to Karbala is, is on you know uh, on a ziyarah. This is your opinion. So yes, do say Assalamu alaikum wa Abdullah, but your opinion on a topic after, because the question is is right there in in, in on the screen. Yes, but going back to the discussion uh, now and the question for tonight how do you guide others to the right path we got a few opinions but they are all on the same line uh, that is we have we had a, f a few people saying you need to guide yourself uh, and then we had uh, our expert he says we have to first begin with ourselves before we preach to others so the preaching can be effective uh, and as effective as possible. Um, now, if, if uh, just as a, as, as a conclusion, uh, all of those, the prophet, the imams, the saints, the apostles, as I mentioned earlier, if we were to look at their lives, uh, God sent us 124,000 prophets. Uh, you know, right now, how many med social media platforms do we have, actually? We have, what, you can count them on your 10 fingers. But God sent us 124,000 prophets, each with a path leading to the same destination. Some may argue, you know what, now all are mentioned in the Quran. 25 are only mentioned in the Quran. Yes, 25 are only mentioned in the Quran. Okay, at least we can use those 25 to reach the destination. Now, a few examples of, you know, which prophets actually used their power uh, to guide the people to the right path. Take, for example, Jesus. Jesus, through the power of Allah, through the will of Allah, he was able to heal the sick. He was able to cure the blind and you know, heal the, and, and bring back the dead, resurrect the dead. Moses, Moses, as a lot of people would mention it, he used magic um, to guide the people as well because you know his his staff and how it changed into a, a, a snake. And then we have Prophet Muhammad who brought the Quran and overcame the eloquence. The Arabs were known for their eloquence. But yet the Quran came and overcame uh, their eloquence, their level of eloquence. Uh, but we hope through today's episode and through hashtag guarantee and through moi, Ahmad Ali, you can be guided to the right path. Because honestly, uh, you would be, we, you would be, uh, you would want to be on my path because uh, my path is special. You know and I mean, but thank you very much for joining us tonight. A big shout out to everyone that contributed in tonight's episode. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum. ورحمة الله وبركاته